another day in lockdown and another kit let's have a quick look at this one small kit this uh, it was described as a LED windmill biggest first problem is how to get the packet open there we go right so what we've got okay so um there we go so it looks like we've got a couple of switches here the majority of the components are diodes we've got uh, four resistors got an ic there which i presume is some sort of timer and the power in there so not many components let's have a look see what we've got here okay so here's our four resistors so they're all the same which is good so we don't have to mess about trying to find the values there's the ic which goes on there two switches and the rest as i said are all diodes and they're all red hmm. that looks a fairly simple one it shouldn't take too too long to uh, make it right we've got it mounted on the little uh, vice grip so let's uh, start off with the lowest uh, components which are the resistors no need to check what values they are because there's four resistors and there's four on the circuit board There we go, nice and easy to be done. All right, let's get them soldered into place. Right, okay, that's got that done. Um, so the other thing really is the LEDs and the IC. So while I've got the circuit board this way around, uh, I think I'll put the switches on next. So the switches, I think, will just pop on. Yep, yeah, there we go, that's one. right that's got them done they just pop on and the legs because they're springy will just hold them in in place Right, let's got them done. Okay, next thing we need to do then I think is the IC. Now the kit doesn't come with a um, IC holder, so I've just got one out of the cupboard. Um, we've got a little indent in the um, IC holder there, and that matches up with the indent that's on the circuit board there on the um, picture on the board. So that pops in there. Like that. Get a bit of blue tack, and that will just hold it in place. There we go, and then we can solder that up. So 
So what I'm going to do is just do the two legs um, the furthest corner. So that corner and that corner. And I'll just hold it in place. We'll take the blue tack off. Um, and if you can see that on the edge of the board, it's not quite straight, it's not quite flat. But that's okay. What we'll do is we'll just hold it with our thumb that side, push up, and we'll just melt the solder so it then hopefully goes into place. Yep, there we go. That's nice and flat now. So now we can continue doing the other legs. Because there's not that many legs, we can get this done fairly quickly. There we go. So now we've got that in place. Get a little IC. What is it? Can we see what it is? Mm, I can't really see it on this. I'll have to get my little mic microscope out and check it. So let's pop it on there. Um, so indent on the chip just there matches up with the indent on the board there. Ah, now let's have a look. These legs are fairly splayed out. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on the bench and just really, just gently rock it slightly so the bender lengths in a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's got it. That's got it in. There we go. Okay, so next thing I think we'll do is the diodes. So if we look at the circuit board, you'll see that the diodes have a little plus next to them on the circuit board. So that tells us the plus leg of the LED and the LEDs themselves. They have a long leg and a short leg. And the long leg is the plus and the short leg is the ground. So they go in with the long leg on the plus side like so. I'm going to leave them just stood off the board just very slightly like that just so it's just above where the other components are and we can solder that into place. So while I do that you can listen to a bit of music.
Right, that's all the LEDs done. They're roughly in place. That one's a bit high, but that's okay. That's fine. And yeah, I can see kind of a sort of a spirally sort of shape in the LEDs. So the last thing to do is the power. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do on this, I'm going to do it slightly different. I think I'm going to put the plug on the back so the wires come out of the back and then solder them on the front. What I mean by that is I'm not going to put the clips on like that. I'm going to put the clips on like that. I get them in without dropping them. If I can get them in, that is. There we go. Bit of blue touch to hold it in place. There we go. Right. Let's got that done. Let's get some cables and see if it works. Right, I've cleared the desk of all the bits and pieces. Um, I've got my transformer set to just about 5 volts. Um, so let's have a, a look at this. Put that one on there. Okay, and I'll just hold this one on the back. Let's see if it works. Ah, look, a windmill. We've <coughs> um, we got anything better than this? Just bear me for a tick. I know it's a black cable and I know that's a red but I won't tell anybody if you, you don't. There we go. Right, so, okay, we've got two buttons on here, so let's see what the two buttons do. Uh, this is the first one. Oh, okay, so that pauses it. So the second one does. Ah, exactly the same thing. Pauses it. I'll do both at the same time. Just pauses it. Okay, so there you go. It's just a pause. Right. So I think that's uh, working quite well. Just check all the LEDs are on. Which they are. So there you go. We have a, a, a windmill. Let me just turn the voltage down. Okay, 3.7 it stops. Yeah, just 3.7 volts it stops. Uh, if we wind that up. That's 5 volts and it's uh, running quite nice on 5, 5 volts. So there you go, it is working. Um, it is a windmill. I hope you like it. If you like what I do, please give the channel a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe and press the uh, little bell for more videos coming in the future. Um, thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.